my dear friends as we know peter did not go to galilee to the house where the disciples can be together that jesus could meet them he said go to galilee and there you will find me but instead peter went with the other disciples to the sea and there peter was encountered by the lord the lord did not leave him and brought him without the lord whole night he tried and he got nothing but in spite of that the lord brought him from the sea and when peter came he saw jesus like a mother prepared fish and bread and the fire was there hot caught fishes and jesus told them have breakfast after giving the breakfast jesus called peter separately he did not ask in front of everybody he took at most care and told peter do you love me he said yes lord i love you if you love me there are so many lambs helpless lambs take care of them feed them again he asked do you love me yes lord i love you peter said not only the lambs there are grown up sheep but sheep cannot be without the shepherd i have chosen you please take care of my sheep and then again he asked do you love me when peter felt sorry jesus said i have to ask you because you are not able to understand what i am saying simply saying i love you i love you i love you dasin make you a witness you have to follow me you have to follow me you have to give your ears to hear what i am saying you have to give your heart to understand what i am telling you and you have to lay down your life to follow me when you are young you went to wherever you went like today you went simply you went to the sea you cannot go any more like that when you follow me when you really love me you cannot do whatever you wish to you have to hear what god wants you and you have to follow him not that you fall somewhere else and god has to come and lift you up that stage is over i'm not going to be there with you forever the holy spirit will come and he will stay with you you have to find a time to be with him you have to invest a time to have fellowship with him you have to find time to hear his voice and follow him when you are young you went wherever you went now you cannot having heard everything jesus says follow me and he moves peter is turning back making jesus also to turn back lord what about that fellow all this time what he has heard has gone in the air i am sure that moment jesus might have experienced that pain as a teacher he said what is that for you 
I can do whatever anything with him. Everybody is unique for me. Each one has a mission. Each one has the different way in which God is leading them to. What is that for you? You follow me. You invest time for me. You be aware of the Lord inside you. That's why Farnat Sa used to say, people die in their age of 40. The rest of the time, they just to survive. The burial only takes place after 60 or 70 or 80. But they die at 40. They have no more time to hear, to see God inside, to hear His message, His vision, to understand what God wants me to do. They have no time. So busy with the external world, they fail to see the Lord inside. And to hear His voice, to understand His mission, and to follow Him. Crucifying ourselves. No longer I live for myself. Following means living for God. Living for His vision. Living for His mission. That's why Jesus said in Mark's Gospel, chapter 4, He said a beautiful say, saying, Those who have ears, let them hear. There are many who are chosen, but very few, very few choose the Lord. The Lord chooses many people. The Holy Spirit stays in our hearts, in all of our hearts, but very few live with Him. That's why Jesus said in Mark chapter 4 verse 3, Listen! If you have heart, Listen! So many voices are heard, noises are heard. You have to tune your radio to a particular station if you want to hear the message of that station. You are placed in the world. The world has all kinds of noises. You have to tune every day, tune your heart to be with your master. Our life is like a seed. Jesus said beautifully, Listen, a farmer went out to plant some seed. Our, the seed is our life. Yes, the word of God. And where does, where does, where do we place him in our lives? Some seeds fall on the way. Some people's lives are like a way. On the way, anybody comes and goes. No control. They live according to their feelings. Somebody says, I love you, they go. Sometimes they feel like eating, they eat. Feel like drinking, they drink. Nobody bothers. Nobody has right over me. They live according to their flesh. Their lives have become like a way. And in that way, the evil forces, the birds come and take away all that from God. And once that evil spirit has landed in that, it also will put its dirt in that way. The way will have the scent of the evil, the presence of the evil. So many people have become like way. Some others have become like stones, rocky ground. They receive God for some time. They go for mass. They listen to the word of God. They feel so nice. Thank you, Jesus. The moment they go from the church, no more the word. Some are like a thorny bushes. They receive the word. They feel so happy. And after some time, the worries of the world, the flesh, the lust of this world, they push them to various type of relationships, fun, and they crush the word of God, crush the presence of God in their lives. 
and they no more very few give themselves to god and they bear the fruit of the lord 